Jason Voorhees is the main antagonist of the Friday the 13th series. However, in the original, he wasn't actually the murderer. It was Jason's mother. It wasn't until the sequel that Jason became the main villain of the series. The most iconic thing about Jason is his hockey mask. It's become part of popular culture. However, it wasn't until the third part of the series, Friday the 13th Part 3, where he actually donned the hockey mask for the first time. However, it did then become a trademark of the character from that point on. Jason's final appearance was in the film Freddy vs. Jason, however, his final standalone appearance was in Jason 10, or Jason X as it was known as, where he actually went into space. Hi guys, it's True here, welcome to another episode of my collectibles. This is, as promised last week in the sneak peek, this is Jason Voorhees, Kota Bikia, Bisojo Horror Statue, which is hot from Japan. And loads of places still have this on pre-order, but I get this direct from a supplier in Japan, so I managed to get hold of these an awful lot quicker than most places are able to do so. Now, by coincidence, this is episode 13. Now, I planned that in no way whatsoever. It's just how it uh, uh, fell, and I only realised it when I was uh, typing the name of the save file on my, on my PC. But this is the companion piece to the Freddy Krueger figure, which I featured around Halloween time. This one unfortunately got delayed and didn't come out in time for Halloween, but it didn't miss the boat by that much. And it's a great companion piece to the Freddy Krueger. It's one seventh scale as they normally all are. And this one is a lot more detailed than the Freddy Krueger figure. In fact, this has fast become one of my favourite Kotobukiya statues that they've done in recent times. It's really got an awful lot of detail going for it and it's just an amazing figure overall. As I mentioned in my Freddy Krueger video, as this is a Bisojo statue, it's not going to be disfigured and it's obviously going to be female because Bisojo is in slight Japanese is a slang word and it means beautiful young lady or beautiful young woman. So obviously this is a female interpretation of the Jason Voorhees character. So let's get hands on with the statue. Right, where do we begin with this statue? It's uh, amazingly detailed. It's got detail coming from it at all angles. The character is depicted carrying two iconic weapons, the machete and the axe. Jason Voorhees is a slasher character, slasher horror character, much like Michael Myers of the Halloween series and he'll basically gut you and tear you to pieces whatever blunt or sharp instrument he can get his hands on. But the two most iconic weapons are the axe and the machete, which this character has both of them. Now, we start at the top of the character there, I mean there's an, you can just see automatically from this shot here there's an awful lot of detail going on. The coat is very highly detailed, loads of creases in the trench coat, the crop top, I love the colour shading on the crop top, I think it's just an ama amazing shading job that they've actually done on there, especially taking in the creases of the item of clothing as well. All the way up there to the iconic hockey mask which the character is wearing at an angle there, just so you can see her face and you can get a sneak peek of her six pack there because Jason as a character um, was basically a disfigured human and who managed to survive a, drown, a drowning as a child but um, later on he became a supernatural character when he got resurrected and he became strong as hell and built like a brick shit house basically and the most iconic feature of the Jason character is of course a hockey mask and I think they've done a good job here recreating it it's got the, hair, the air holes and the classic red scoring on the mask there. They've done a really good job there and I'm glad they didn't put the mask on the figure exactly you know, wearing it covering the face because you really need to see the face of a uh, Bisojo. Again just going back to the detail there you see the detail in the coat, the sleeves, the frayed sleeves and again the torso there six pack or what <laughs> you can see the wounds there the actual six pack you can actually if you unfortunately you guys can't do this but obviously if you run your finger over the, um, the six pack you can actually feel the definition there on the character and there's an awful lot of detail into it and much like the Freddy Krueger figure as well the wounds the, the slashes on the character they are actually slightly raised up as well so it adds a bit of texture to the character as well so really good there and um, the 
jeans, the skinny fit jeans. They've got a, a very detailed belt there with loads of studs on there, and the belt actually has a little bit of give as well. It will actually, um, it does actually bend the um, the flapping bit of the of the belt there. So in theory, if the, if they didn't have actually glued and fastened that on there, that belt could actually be removed. But uh, yeah, moving down to the jeans there. Say the skinny fit jeans there, and uh, the crease to hell. So you can actually jam packed into those. Uh, it's going to be a hell of a job to get in and out of those, I would imagine. But a uh, hell of a lot of detail on there. But uh, focusing here on the machete, obviously it looks like she's claimed a few victims of late due to the blood stain on the machete blade there. But uh, yeah, going back to the jeans there, again as you see moving down the character today, there's rips on the jeans, tears on the jeans, fray, frays on the jeans, and the crease, detail on the creases is absolutely amazing. Same with the boots. You've got some like leather boots there. And again, you can see the light shining on there, the actual detail and the creases there. A lot of figures that you do tend to get tend to just do the, it's not, it's not this level of detail. That's why I like the Kiltabakia statues so much. They just go to town with the detail and the quality of them. No stones left unturned. I mean, bits bits of over, over manufacturers just uh, would take for granted and say, oh, well, that's not. I was going to look at that part of the figure, we won't put the detail in, but Kiltabakia go over extra mile and actually put that detail there. Again, moving up the character at the back there, you can see the tattered phrase of the coat there as the tails of the coat are flapping in the wind there. And again, the just the detail in the contours of the coat as well. Absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing character. This is definitely one of my favourites in the entire range. I mean, I've been collecting these for a number of years now, and I think they've they've done something really special with this uh, this character. It's miles better than the Freddy Krueger figure, which was really good as well, and um, much better than the recent figures of late. That's not to say there was anything wrong with those figures, but I've done an amazing job. So um, yeah, Jason Voorhees, Kota Bikia, Bisojo statue. Again, I'll just leave you with a torso shot there because I think that's the main part of the figure there. I just, I just love the shading on that uh, on that top there. It's just, it's just done so well, done really, really well there. They've just nailed this. Definitely give this figure a 10 out of 10 without fail. So I'm going to leave you with a few shots, or still shots of the figure now. Oh yeah, sorry, just before I go there, yeah, I forgot about the bases, one of these magnetic bases again. Don't like these magnetic bases, the character's not stable enough on them, unfortunately. But here are the stills of the character, so I hope you do enjoy these, and I have, towards the end, put a few in there with the Freddy Krueger figure, and tried to do some lighting effects to make it a little bit spooky for you. But yeah, hope you enjoyed that, guys, and I hope you tune in next week, next Thursday, where I'll bring you another one of my figures, which are part of my collection. Thanks for watching, guys.